this morning. The former New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian, after much speculation, announced that she would not be taking a tilt at federal politics, specifically the seat of Warringah on Sydney's northern beaches. And in fact, her intention is to quit politics altogether at the end of the year and move into the private sector and lead a much less public life, as she revealed to Nine Radio this morning. Now, she resigned from the state's top job, of course, uh, earlier in the year when uh, the ICAC revealed she was the subject of an investigation. It was examining her uh, dealings with her former boyfriend, the former Wagga Wagga MP, Daryl Maguire. Now, the ICAC is yet to release its findings, but the former Premier Gladys Berejiklian has always maintained that she acted with integrity. Uh, despite this, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, and many other senior Liberals were keen to see her run for this federal seat, openly uh, uh, indicating that that would be their intention. In fact, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, did uh, extend the time for pre-selection. Here's what he had to say this morning in reaction to Gladys Berejiklian's announcement. She's made a decision um, to go forward into a new chapter of her life and Jenny and I wish her all the very best of that. She's been a great friend of Jen and I, particularly over these last couple of years as we've worked uh, uh, together to, to combat that pandemic. So she's been a trailblazer. She's off to blaze a new trail now, um, but we wish her all the best um, for her future and I know that she'll continue to provide tremendously strong support to, to me and my team and I thank her very much for that. So Cecilia, given the ICAC cloud, why was she being considered in the first place? Well, despite the ICAC investigation, Joe, internal polling had indicated that Gladys Berejiklian was a strong contender and still had uh, that much needed public support to get over the line in terms of a federal contest. And, and for this reason, it was one of the, the reasons why uh, senior Liberals were so keen to see her run in this seat. Of course, it is traditionally a safe Liberal seat. It was formerly held by Tony Abbott but independent MP uh, Zali Segal won that uh, in the last federal election. And, you know, with another election looming, it's one seat, of course, that the coalition is keen to win back. And has the former New South Wales Premier given any indication as to what she's going to do next? When speaking this morning, she said that she was looking forward to leaving, leading a much less uh, public life and that she would uh, look towards the, the, public, uh, the private sector, rather. Uh, she said she looked forward to catching up with family and extended family and friends. And she said that her last day, of course, would be the 30th of December. Here's what she had to say just to say that I'm looking forward to a much less public life. I won't be contesting the federal seat of Warringah or for any, any other seat for that matter. Um, I'm going in a different direction and I'm looking forward to the opportunities that next year brings. She said that uh, she was uh, very humbled and thanked the public for their support over the last few months as she looks towards the future.